Video 20 Car Transfers The ability to get in and out of a car will give you more freedom and allow you to be more independent in your community. This transfer is challenging because the gap between your wheelchair and the car seat is wide, the seat heights are different, and the door frame limits your ability to lean. You will also need to weigh your options for the best handholds in the car. This transfer involves three phases. Setting up, lifting, and repositioning. When you're first learning how to move between your wheelchair and car, take advantage of the skills of a spinal cord injury trained physical or occupational therapist. These therapists can help customize your technique and spot you until you can do them on your own. The therapist can explore options for loading your wheelchair in the vehicle. Start with your car in a level open area and give yourself plenty of time to practice. Using a car with a door that swings widely open will give you more space to position your wheelchair and body. A car with a seat height similar to your wheelchair cushion will be an easier transfer than a transfer into most trucks. Move the seat position further back in the car to give yourself more leg room. Place your wheelchair at an angle to the seat of the car and align the front of the rear wheel with the backrest of your car seat or the back of the door frame. Avoid positioning yourself too far forward. Move to the front corner of your wheelchair. If your wheelchair and car seat heights are similar, put one or both of your feet on the ground. Place your trailing hand near your hip. Position your leading hand on the edge of the car seat. Avoid pulling yourself into the car with the overhead handle or the steering wheel. Overhead pulling can harm your shoulders over time and may contribute to dragging your hips across the wheel instead of lifting your hips up and over the wheel. Lean forward while you tilt and rotate your shoulders away from the car seat. Tip forward while bracing with your shoulders and elbows and lift your hips onto the front corner of the car seat. After the transfer, reposition your body in the car. Scoot your hips farther back into the seat. Stabilize yourself with one hand while you use the other to bring your legs into the car. For longer car rides, some wheelchair users position a thin wheelchair cushion on their car seat to protect their skin. Whether or not you use a cushion once you're belted into your seat, plan to shift your position regularly to prevent skin breakdown. To get out of your car, bring your feet out to the ground and shift to the corner of the car seat. Place your trailing hand by your hips and the leading hand on your wheelchair cushion or the front section of the frame. Lift and swing your hips over to your wheelchair. Place your feet on the foot plate and reposition your hips. Many wheelchair users are able to transfer into standard vehicles. If you continue to struggle with this transfer, talk to a therapist who is also a driving specialist. These therapists can explore modified vehicle options involving ramps or lifts. They can also help you determine whether you can load your wheelchair on your own or get back to driving.